<laughs> there is a lot of problem that uh, we demand with the league. They're not answering or they're not taking care of the problems. A pair of cricket players in Montreal are raising concerns about how the Quebec Cricket Federation, the provincial governing body of cricket, manages cricket leagues and grounds. The players say that uneven field conditions that many of the teams use are unacceptable, such as the Verdun Cricket Grounds in Montreal, adding that some of the grounds that are in better condition are only allocated to certain teams. Looking around, around here, we can see the puddles and the grass, and you see the big patches behind me. That's where the people are playing with the this condition that even in India people are playing in the village I think they're better than us. You can see there's a garden if there's a if there's a small kid standing there last year and the ball could hit the kid and the kids could be gone on the spot. I told them last year to put a net on the side to protect those uh, kind of incidents. They haven't done that. The players are also critical of the quality of cricket balls that are used during the games these concerns were raised in a petition directed to the Quebec Cricket Federation, along with other issues such as biases in team selection and financial transparency. I wonder where's $102,000 they collect yearly is going. You know, we want financial, they haven't done financial audition for the last two, three years. Nobody asked, and it has to be done by third party. There is no third party audition have been done on this. Any audit has been done on these guys, but they comes with, and if they, somebody asks the question, they, they pass the question and they don't want to answer that. Several teams had initially agreed to sign the petition to force a special general meeting, but now it appears that almost all the teams have withdrawn from the petition, and it's not exactly clear why they have withdrawn. People, whoever has been filed the petition against them, they have given the threats and everybody has uh, emails of threatening them. The leak uh, uh, came back by uh, threatening us that uh, they would ban all 21 teams if, we, uh, if I don't withdraw from the, uh, from the uh, petition. And, uh, the, and also it was, quite, it was a call by the president who made the call to me. City News Montreal contacted the Quebec Cricket Federation about the concerns in the petition, but they did not want to comment. In Montreal, Gareth Maddock-Jones, City News.